let me just put you over here and yes there we go hi everyone um i don't know whether i've told you already at the beginning of this but i'm i'm just gonna try on some stuff because it's just arrived and i, I i'm actually curious to know what it's like but straight after that i'm vlogging today so two things first of all i haven't i haven't told you this because i didn't know if i was definitely going to do it or not but now i am but um i'm i've decided i'm going to change one of the cars and it's the porsche and it i was never going to change that car i bought that in 2016 and it's been i can't believe i bought it that long ago because it's i remember the day i picked it up it's like the car of my dreams and i and i was always just going to keep it for eternity but I don't know whether it's to do with Covid but Porsche have been in touch and they're doing an insane deal. They're like buy a new car, we'll do you a really good deal. And they've kind of twisted my arm because they've shown me something that I adore and I'm picking it up after this for a 24 hour test drive to see if I like it. And then if I do, I think I might place the order. Anyway, then after that, we're going to go for afternoon tea. So you're all welcome to kind of come along. So the things I'm going to try on, I've got three bags. One of them's kind of old, but I wanted to include it in this because I'm hoping that it almost goes with the looks. One of them is a belt bag. What I've been trying to do, so autumn is nearly here. And what I've wanted to do is buy things to add to my wardrobe that this time last year I wouldn't have bought. So for example, I'm just wearing like a really casual t-shirt. I'll just show you there. On the bottom, you can't see any of this. Oh no, I can't go back because I've got odd socks on. Oh, I'm just gonna go, please forgive my odd socks. I've just got casual jogging bottoms on. I can't believe I've done this. Oh, well, it's too late now. Yeah, so I'm trying to add things to my wardrobe that I wouldn't have bought a year ago and I don't really own. And I know loads of you told me in that last video that I did that you are also saying, I'm not really going out and I'm at home and I'm wearing sweaters or jogging bottoms or anything comfortable. So yeah, I wanted to add to that. And I also wanted to kind of try and go with a Chanel inspired, you know, their new collection. I really kind of wanted to imitate that really without spending chanel money so the plan is casual jogging bottoms and t-shirt perfect for autumn because it's not very hot with a tweed i've found a tweed jacket i don't know if it's going to fit but are we going to try it on all of this stuff by the way i have a 10 percent off coupon code that works on all of it let me go and let me go and find the jacket the tweed on this is better than expected there's kind of in here there's a a mix of dark blue with black and with kind of gold threads running through it. This is kind of different to what I'd normally wear, but I had the idea in my head because I feel like the boot thing's quite Dior. Well, actually it's kind of Chanel, isn't it, as well, because they, they're kind of doing this thing at the moment. But then these trousers, they kind of feel they feel a bit like linen. I wanted a pair of trousers that aren't actually meant for the gym, that I could just not wear in the gym. I've gone for all Yves Saint Laurent bags because I feel that this is one of quite a few brands that are a bit underrated. Why are they underrated? Well, um, I'll tell you what, for the main thing, I always see Yves Saint Laurent as in the same bracket as the Chanel's and the Dior's but their prices are nowhere near it. Like this bag, for example, I think this was about 800 pounds. I'm gonna show you another one which I've had for a while and that was about the same as well. This bag comes with a tassel that you can attach on the side. I quite liked that. I didn't realize until I opened the bag and saw that. This is really nice. The fit on it's really nice too. I've just gone for my regular size. And I'm going to try this on as well with some trousers that are different. If you want something that is still comfortable but not quite as relaxed looking as these, then I'll show you in a second. They're, they're quite old as well, but I think you can still get them. So this is the back of it. It's quite nicely fitted, but the, I, I also like that it's not skin tight. Okay, so that's that bag. 
All of these, by the way, if you're new to Yves Saint Laurent, all of their bags and accessories come with a dust bag and you also get with it, you get all of the papers which are included in this envelope. Do you know, I, I don't know why they're not more expensive. I'm not complaining though. So this is the cream version that I've had for a while. It's a good size. And also because of the price, I don't feel like I've got to stress about it too much. That looks, actually, I really like this with this jacket. So same t-shirt, but this is what I'm gonna show you. It kind of reminded me a lot of the small card holders that Chanel are doing at the moment on belts. I'm gonna show you what fits in this. I looked at this and I thought, oh, that's really nice, but I probably won't use it for anything. And then when it turned up, I thought, let's try. It fits a credit card. It fits, I had, um, I've got a mini uh, lip gloss and I have a compact powder thing. It all fits in. Oh. Now we have a problem, this is a bit big, but I'm still gonna show you it anyway. Would look good either on the waist, or if you had jeans or something, you could wear it on the hip. I've just put this with um, just a pair of white sneakers. I'm, I'm really pleased that I, do you ever get it where you have an idea in your mind before you place an order for how the whole thing's gonna work together and then it turns up and so often it looks like complete mishmash of things that don't go. The coupon code, by the way, so this has been given to me by Farfetch. This bit of the video is a sponsored video by them. And the code works on pretty much, I think everything I've shown in this video so far. It only works for new customers though. So if you do have an account, you'll have to create a new one to get it to work. Farfetch is like a platform that lets boutiques all around the world sell their items. So I can go on Farfetch and I can find a bag, let's say, that you can't get in London, but you can get it in Italy and a boutique in Rome will sell it. And when you get the items through, so many of the boutiques decorate the packages differently with their own different dust bags or the way they wrap things. So I really like it from that point of view, but it's also kind of a one-stop shop because you can shop pre-loved Chanel pre-loved Hermes things like that but you can also buy new stuff and they also have a section on there now for positive conscientious shopping and when I was thinking about ways of getting that Chanel look without spending that money but also without having to go for fast fashion because I didn't really want to do that I didn't want to find myself um, buying stuff which looked good but didn't last and that's one thing I've really pulled back on actually in the, in the last couple of years I would rather spend say 200 pounds on a jacket than 5,000 in Chanel or 20 pounds in a fast fashion store. And I think the 200, if you can get something like this, it's so timeless. Okay, everyone, we have to go. I'm gonna take this camera so that I can record and take you with me. I'm actually gonna change this jacket because it's like 28 degrees today and it's, I'm. Once I get outside, I'm gonna fry in this. I've had lots of you asking for footage of the car. Um, you're gonna understand why when I go to Harrods, I don't actually take this car because it's so loud. Well, I do take it, but when I'm filming, I don't bother. It's so loud, you can't hear anything inside. You're about to find that out. Look at this, my hair. I straightened this before we came out. This is how humid it is. So we're in the car and actually it's not that noisy. Oh, really? Okay. When, when we're in a lower gear, it's louder and this is why when Whenever I film when I'm driving, I don't bother doing it in this car. So we're on our way to Porsche Centre Reading now. We are really late because on the way here, we got caught in traffic lights that were broken. So our side couldn't get through, but the other side could. And we were sat there for uh, like 20 minutes, would you say? Probably longer. Probably longer. So we turned around and we've been able to go a different way, but it's slightly longer anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this car though, and I'm wondering whether it's gonna be 
inside as loud as mine because I really like a loud car. I like to hear the exhaust note. And because the new versions, their emissions have had to improve, it has had a knock-on effect to the, the noise that you get out of the car. Um, and I think I'm gonna try and do a comparison later in this video of start-up on my car versus start-up on the new car because I personally am interested to know what's happened to the color. I feel damp and my hair is um, embarrassing yeah it looks like I haven't brushed it today so we're just going up the motorway now and then um, we should probably be there in about 15 minutes we're here at last can you see that can you see it is that a two or a three, GT2 or a three? In lizard green, oh, I love that car. I'm trying to see the one that I'm gonna be driving. Oh God, look. I'm just gonna go in and sort out the car, then I'll be out. I have the key and the car. Do I show you the car? All I'm gonna show you it's pretty extreme, okay? And the way I'm gonna spec it is even more extreme. I'm just gonna go through some of the options, actually. Some of the things that have changed for any of you who are used to these cars and you're kind of wondering. So the main thing is, it's now keyless. Um, but once the keys are in the car, foot on the brake. Here we go. And the, my chair has moved forward to accommodate my my uh, height. This car's got sports chrono on it, which is why you've got that. I'm gonna spec that on mine. Someone has put the aircon up really high and I'm always cold, so I'm gonna turn that off. How do I turn it off? I do not want air conditioning. Where, where is it? Someone's gonna be like, it's there in front of you. No, hang on. Um, car. God, if I have to do this every time. Seat setting. It can't be, it can't be. Oh, I'm just gonna turn it off. No, hang on, I'm gonna make it warmer. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google it. Um, so the dash has completely changed. This has got a lot better. Apple CarPlay has always come as standard on these, which is really good, because on other cars you have to pay extra for it. And yet, they've kind of updated all of this. On mine, I've specced carbon fiber all around here. Uh, but I guess we should go. So I didn't film the motorway bit because it was a uh, average speed check and it was, I don't know if I've got cruise control. I should probably look, but I tell you what, I've had a smile on my face the whole way back since driving this car and it's really made me definitely sure that this is the right car for me and what I really like about it and I'll show you it later but I I, I like that it's the kind of car you wouldn't expect oh great someone's jumped the light I like that it's the kind of car you wouldn't expect a, a woman to drive God. I wanted it to be kind of a bit boy racer and I I love it I am kind of torn over what color to get I've been thinking of either black or white this car is black which gives me a really good kind of idea for how it's gonna look I think though the thing is is that with black cars sometimes you you lose the lines of the car and um, whereas on a lighter color you kind of see that more here we go this is it what do we think I, I was just, David was following me back and he was like, the car looks incredible on the road. Look, carbon fiber roof on this. You can also get carbon fiber wing mirrors. I was worried, um, where we live, we've got speed bumps and I was worried, look how low this is. So I'm gonna have to spec lift on it because David had to get out of 
his car and watch that I could get over this and it was just about possible. Look <laughs> how low that is. So what do you guys think? I think it's really nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. I like, I like this. It's, it's really minor, but simple things. I'm just gonna get David to start it so you can hear. It's a lot quieter than my car. We're gonna do it with and without sports exhaust so you can hear. Sports exhaust makes it a little bit throatier. So that was with sports exhaust and with sports plus or whatever it's called extra because you've got sport and one more sports plus now we're going to listen to it without which is quite good for if you are starting your car early in the morning and you don't want to annoy your neighbors okay david take it away here it's a lot more quiet This is the way they're going, so that what can you do? If you're gonna go and buy a new car, every, every new model is gonna go more and more quiet, but um, <laughs> I can't stop smiling. Whenever I look at it, I cannot stop smiling. Brilliant. It's Isn't it? David saw it and said, I wish I was choosing this one. Far, far better. This is the best car in its class for that amount of money. Yeah, for the money, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. I know, it's silly. So here we are, we've come for afternoon tea. I need to just quickly put my mask on before we go in. Why have they done it on this bit of paper? It used to be in a proper book. Yeah. Is I reckon this is so they can throw it out at the end of each day. Because so of COVID. Yeah, COVID. yeah. yeah. so... Uh, sandwiches. Hmm. So we've got egg and cress, salmon, uh, something, cheese and something. I'm going to start with egg and cress. It has got really, it's humid, but it's got quite she cold. See the ducks. I tell you what, it was absolutely Maybe the boiling earlier. The cake. So yeah, we took, we took some home. Yeah. It's like a maze. Yeah, doesn't it look amazing? <laughs> oh, they've all gone. The ducks. Hi everyone. I've just got home and I thought I'd show you this for anyone that's in a similar predicament to me. This is meant to be, I don't know how well it's gonna work, this is meant to be an at home dry cleaning solution because I've got so many things now, everything seems to be dry clean only. And I've got these trousers, this top, uh, I've got like loads more upstairs. I haven't got, I haven't got any coats or anything, it's all basically tops and trousers. But I thought I'd give this a try, and I don't know how it's gonna work. Apparently, you do something with something and then you put it in the tumbled dryer. And you know what, if it's any good, I'm gonna let you guys know. I actually just found it on Amazon. It looks like you get, so you get four tries at this. And it says that this, so this bag is reusable. 
and you can only put two things out in it at a time. I don't know how big this is yet. I'm not sure that I would ever do coats with this. I probably would take those to the dry cleaners, but things like these two items that are not thick at all, I think they'll be okay. So it looks like you get an odor and wrinkle releaser. And it says that when you take these out of the dryer, if there's any crinkles, you've got to hang everything up straight away. And if there's any crinkles, you spray this on and it releases them. And then there's also this pen that apparently you use on any stains. So I'm going to give this a try and let you know how it goes. Turns out that the bag is actually quite big and there's the fill line by the look of it. I've just used the pen on some marks that are on the clothes, just really minor things. I'm gonna put this in the bag. By the way, this isn't an advert. I just found this on uh, Amazon because I'm sick to death of going to the dry cleaner for things like this. You know, it's like a really basic top that is really good in summer. And I don't wanna keep going and spending sort of like 11 pounds having it cleaned. Uh, so I wanted to look for something I could do from home and would you believe it, there's something. Um, what's really nice is this smells exactly like that Laun that really like laundry smell that you get so hopefully it comes out smelling good i'm going to show you the final result well first of all let me adjust the color first of all they s the clothes smell exactly like how they would come out of the uh, dry cleaner they smell really good the stains have pretty much gone can you see here though so there's like a bit of a stain there which is from i think it's from makeup you know um the main thing is and it's not terrible but if you've got a garment which you can't iron it might be can you see it's meant to release creases and it's actually created them over on the trousers they're quite creased as well and i did put that spray on them that it said that when you take them out spray them with the crease remover hang them up i did all of that and it hasn't worked so um but it's fine because i can actually iron both of these items but overall i'm not disappointed because to clean this top is 11 pounds these trousers from memory are around about 16 so i you know i've saved myself money which is no bad thing i think what i'll do is i will use the product for things like this items that I wear a lot and jumpers and things and then every so often I will actually take this to dry cleaners and get them to do them properly. I completely forgot to film an ending so um, thank you all so much for watching this. I always really appreciate it and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know I haven't done many vlogs recently because I just haven't been going out because I can't really be bothered but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.